Skull, and welcome back by Shield Wall to the next episode of our Clan Angren campaign for Total War Warhammer 3 The Old World Mod. So we are picking up where we left off last time. It is the Siege of Karak Monar, and we look to take down Skarsnik for the first time in this campaign. So last week we had episode one release on Monday. It was the first 10 turns of this campaign and we are picking up right where we left off last week. We are attacking Karag Monar and we are gonna go right on in because there are five breaches. So I don't feel like waiting around for the siege towers. We are gonna go on in. It's all goblins. The night goblins are gonna be a little annoying as will the Arachnarok, but the rest of them, they all have poor leaderships. So I feel like if we could just keep breaking them and we can focus Skarsnik with Belagar, and we have our Ancestral Spirits to help out. I feel like we can do this. It's saying Pyrrhic Victory. If we get a Pyrrhic Victory and wipe out Skarsnik's army, I consider that a win, especially if we are completing this province. So Clan Angrand, we're marching to war. This is episode two, and we're going to fight. Come on, Dowie. Kazakin, Kazakin, ha! Oh, right, my Dowie. We are loaded in. The breaches are over in this corner, but I kind of don't like the way that it's doing. I don't like that it's way on this corner. I don't know. Maybe we'll ignore the breaches and just take the walls with ladders. We'll do that. Uh, I'm not sure. Sure, we'll just go straight. Three sections there. Group the Quarlers, the Rangers, and Dramar Hammerfist. Arm Guild approved. Belagar and King Lun, you stick together as melee specialists. Mine support specialists, you stay with the miners with the blasting charges. Great weapons and hammerers. All right. Four words. Shoot the Wazix. I feel like in the breaches we were gonna get two pinpoints, so I'm just gonna try using the ladder. There we go, fire at will. Miners will take this one. All right. Spread it out, hit them hard. Oh jeez, okay. Take that. See if we can get those archers. Oh, very nice archers and nasty skulkers. I keep my O's. Oh, keep my O's. Watch. For the 
faces the gods. Vengeance calls. Up and over. Buff that. For the Karas and Jaw. Children is home. They have wronged us. There's goblins. For the Karas and Jaw. Get up. Get back. Dwarf warriors! They have wronged us! To the Karas and Go! Dowie attack! Drain the earth! Get in there! Get on down there. Dwarf warriors. There we go. We demand blood. Off the walls. Warriors. Up and over. Dwarf warriors. Right, as you command. Blasting charges. Satisfy the grudge! We demand blood! Dull! Here we go. Dwarf warriors! Take your name! Fire on the foe! Runes of smiting upon them! Let the vengeance begin! Move! Forwards! Come on, lads, you can do it! Forwards! Rangers. War of vengeance. I, as you command, for the High King, for the ancestors, have at them. Kill them. Attack. Buff them. There we go, we're winning this flank. There we go. Good one. Bring the earth. 
Yes. Keep going, boys. The clans unite. Attack the axe. Fight. Quarrelers. Shoot the wagons. Bring them down. Where's the Arachnarok? Oh, it's way back there. Okay. Four years forward. Go after Scar Snake. He buffed them. Fight with them. Get that spider rider. Quarrelers. Dolly, attack. Hold those dwarf and legs. Let the vengeance begin. Kill them. Understood, Lord. On. Go after the Arachnarok. Miners. Oh yeah, they're beating them up. Nice and easy there. Take him down. Still take out the Arachnarok. There we go. That leader is broken. Go after Scarsnick. They're shredding our miners over here. Go, go, go. Take down the Arachnarok. Bring in the warriors. You guys go after Scar Snake. Bring him around. Blow him up. There we go. That was the last nudge for a couple of those units. Pull that back. So yeah, we broke those nasty skulkers and everything. That works. All of the ancestral spirits and lords are gonna beat the snot out of that. Take it down! Take down the Arachnarok! Everybody, get it! Buff him. Good luck. Bring the earth down. 
Get them, lads. Miners, get those night goblins. Actually, get those nasty, nasty skulkers. Get him! Get Skosnik! Bring down that green bastard! We hit him hard. There we go, that Arachnarok's getting shredded. Yep, it broke. Warriors advance! Kill Skarsnik. Oh, victory is ours! Bring that behemoth down. And lads, kill Skarsnik. Do not let that miserable weasel escape. Look at him run. Oh, you missed there, Belagar. He's low. Come on. There! Yeah! The ancestor spirits slayed him. Did we kill the Arachnarok? Oh no, that thing's fast. It escaped. But the army's gonna be dead, so... A Pyrrhic victory indeed, but a one that is worthy of memory. We sent in 1,123, we lost 526, so we lost about half of our force. We remain with 597. However, Skarsnik had 1828 and he lost 1246. And the garrison had 377, and they lost 223. So they remain with 582 and 154, respectively. Those nasty skulkers were annoying, but we were able to break through. The ancestor spirits really helped, and that range really helped save the day. But those hammerers, 250 kills. Love me some hammerers. And then those miners with blasting charges, 119. That's a little bit surprising, but I love to see it. A good win, which means... Karak Munar is ours. We have successfully retaken the hold and completed the province. And de defeated Skarsnik and his army. Right off the bat, episode two, first defeat against Skarsnik. You love to see it. It's absolutely beautiful. Belagar got 700, or, sorry, 79 kills for himself. 21 for Domar, 78 for um, the Runesmith, and then 38 for King Lun. So... Good kills all around, but absolutely beautiful. Good work there, went outnumbered. We were able to use our ladders to our advantage. I'm glad we didn't go through the breaches with that many go uh, night goblins and nasty skulkers. I feel like the breaches would have kind of been our death sentence there, trying to weasel our way in there. But we are victorious, a Pyrrhic victory. We lost the Myers with blasting charges, it's okay. Occupy. Sneaky Smiter defeated Skarsnik, ambush success chance plus 20%, and ambush defense chance plus 20% for Belagar's army. Income from trade terrorists plus 5%, thanks to Throny and his guild master. We have secured Morzon's Wall. And we now have four of the eight peaks. They do have an army of nasty skulkers, which is kind of terrifying, but we're going to get replenishment over the end turn. Only thing that concerns me is, well, actually, I guess we're okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine if they attack us. We can hold that. We can hold that. Belagar are going to give you rune warded armor, missile block chance plus 10%, physical resistance 10%. Miner's instinct. I enjoy having that. I like it. It's chance of intercepting plus 6%. 
Actually, B Bane of Destruction is pretty solid. Melee attack plus 9, weapon strength plus 15%, bonus versus infantry plus 5, and bonus versus large plus 6. So that's for against Greenskin, Skaven, and Ogres, respectively. I'm going to grab that. That's pretty rad. Throny Iron Bro! We're going to give you... Rune of Slowness. Debuff those nasty skulkers as they charge in. We have a point for Drummar Hammer Fist. Ancestral Grudge, since we are fighting Greenskins for the foreseeable future. Yes. King Lun. Ooh, we could give him Keeper of the Gate. I'm not sure. I think we'll give him Resolute for now. Charge bonus plus 15. Let's upgrade Karig Yar. Breaking 1979 turn, we have 10,000. We're gonna do... Venerate the Ancestors. Iron Hammer. Iron Hammer. We'll keep them for now. Blasting charge. All right, on to turn 11. I will see you after the end turn, my shield wall. All right, mission issued. Win 10 battles with a single hero character. We've won six so far. Population surplus at the Blood River Valley. 48% uh, done with the Age of Reckoning. So there's Urgrok. We could go after the East Gate so we can be by Karak Azul, but I'm worried about these nasty Skulkers here. I do want to take out those Skaven. They are recruiting, but for now we're going to stay together. Stay over here. Hmm. Beligar! What to do with your army? True king of eight I think we're going to stay here and replenish. It shall be done. We'll have one turn until the blasting charges are done. So we'll get that replenishment. Our warriors are about full. So we're about good to go. That's a lot of nasty skulkers. Holy crap. Get down, king. We got to do something about these guys. Revenge in Maybe we recruit another lord. 1980. We can about afford that. You want to do Shield of Defiance. No! Blame you, you! I guess we'll go to turn 12. Let them finish replenishing. Eric Zifflin, let's grab a Rune Lord. Expert charge defense, that's good. Finn Stormbreaker. Good. Grab the quarrelers and away to turn twelve we go. Let our clans be as one. So Kazador Dragon Slayer came to us, military access, he's gonna pay. We're gonna accept that and keep on rolling to turn twelve. Alright. Karag Monar, unhappy population. There's something in the deeps. Ugh, negative growth. Mission issued, research eight technologies. We've done four so far. Ranked gained. Nice. We've met Solon, the Crooked Eye, and Carrick Hearn. We finally met the guys who wanted to confederate with us. Yay! Okay, they pulled back. Oh, they probably ran from Ono. Against counter orders. My anger burns bright. Grab two warriors. We'll start recruiting that. Ready. By my hammer, it will be done. 
Hmm. Walls are almost healed. Okay, not the right button. Still need a pull. Oh, okay. Mm, so many enemies. Good old Bella guy. Land rats. Even slaves. Lots of slave slingers. Okay, we could win that battle. I want to go take that. True king of eight peaks. We should probably wait one more turn. Drama hammer fist. Plus three percent speed for all missile units. Let's do that. Throne iron row. Sharpened weapons. To battle. And King Lun, we're gonna give you Rune of Grimnir. Get that missile resistance up. One turn until we have our next technology done, which is Vanguard Proficiency. And then we'll move out. Go after Mika. On to turn 13, my Dowie. Onwards! Alrighty, so we are on turn 13. The Forge is unlocked. The Pledge of Oath Gold can now unlock the power of millennia old Dowie secrets. We have the Forge panel. Capture many provinces. We need to capture three. So far, we've captured two. Be sure to put your oath gold to good use, my lord. The forge allows you to craft unique and powerful equipment or mighty runes to bestow upon your most favored warriors. Right over here. I want to see what location that is. Vanguard proficiency is done. All right, so Ono is going after Greenskins, maybe. Which, if that's true, that's awesome. All right, so now we're gonna hop on over here. I would love to take this and give it back to Karakazul so that it's solidified for them and we can get an ally out of it. We've got our units recruited, but Everland and the Feast Master. Finn. Grab another warrior. I'm gonna hold Karak Zifflin. Upgrade Karak Zifflin. One turn left for Karak, Karak Yar. Taking Karak Monar. Next. Make it cheaper to build at the capital. Discretion customize 10% for province capital slash settlement buildings. That'll be good. Make it 10% cheaper for us. Go after Mika. We do have the forge now. As you can see here, we can use it to unlock different weapons. Very good stuff. Let's see. Quick deal. Anyone want an aggression? Karak Hearn does. Honor to your ancestors. Not paying you that much for it, though. Trade. There we go. And what can the Dowie do for you? I agree. Hey, fellow Dowie. Agents of the Moon. Yeah, we'll trade. Unity. Darkland bandits. I have only limited time for this discussion. No, 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 no. Yeah, forget that. All right, so. We hold half of eight peaks. We are halfway there. Let's see if we can see if we can make it even better. Turn 14, here we come, Adawi. Onwards 
We gonna fight. All right, so we are back on turn 14. Ugrok attacked Skaven and wiped him out. The nasty skulkers barely taking any damage. Gorfang Rot got declared war on us, which means we are going to lose Valea Sorrow. Which I've accepted that. That's gone. Finn Stormbreaker, you're going to have to defend us. Belgar, decisive victory. Just auto resolve that. It's all slaves. Easy victory. Occupy that. Don't cut his shop. Got the Dragon Helm. Armor plus 5, fire resistance 25%. Ekron Miner is unlocked. Which are the Mars with the Blasting Charger, the Regiment of Renown. Lots of wars are going on. So I'm thinking we give this Karak Azul. Ready. And we uh, befriend them. The walls are repaired. Decent little garrison. We need to get back before Ugrok attacks us, though. What do you want? Finn Stormbreaker. Maybe we'll keep this, because it's giving us a lot of money. The stonecutter shop and everything. Ah, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll keep it, at least for now. Revenge incarnate. Eric Yar. Eric Yar, you know... Yeah, you need a gate. Build that wall. These green skins and with your location right there, yeah, that's Master of Runecraft. Warlers. Mars with blasting charges. Belagar, now you can get Miner's Instinct. All right, on to turn 15, which we're... That's probably where we'll wrap up for today. So onwards, Madawi. All right, we are back. We met Bugman's Brewery. We are under siege at Karag Monar by Skarsnik, of all people. He's back. But we can get... Right there, so he can't retreat. That's what we're gonna do. Pop right there. He can't get away from us, hopefully. But between our two armies, his, yeah, I think we could take him between our garrison. Oh, look at that. We can attack him and get a decisive victory. Oh, snap. All right. Awesome. The raiding. Yeah, they're definitely gonna take Vallejo's sorrow. That's unfortunate. That's it. That was to be expected. It's okay. Kazador is looking good. Mika's been growing. It's just Gaven Slays and Clan Rats. D Dragon's castaway. Oh, Kara Kern will trade with us. Nice. Trade with them. Conduct yourself with clarity. Nope. All right. Here, Grin, you know, go ahead and upgrade that. One more turn on that upgrade. Good. So let's see what we can get. Eric Azul. And what can the Dowie do for you on this fight? I'll give you... Then where? Oh yeah, they'll take everything. But they have a lot of Skaven allies. We can do defensive and trade for that. As well as get a thousand gold. That's not a bad deal. I don't know if there'll actually be any help as allies. You guys let me know in the comments section. We're about done for today. Let me know... If you think we should trade the settlement in exchange for gold and a defensive alliance. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And then we're going to stop right here on turn 15. So we can sally out and attack them. 
We could just auto resolve, which I'm tempted to do. Let me know if you guys want to fight this. If I don't see anyone saying otherwise, I'll fight it at the start of next week's episode. Otherwise, I'll just auto. If someone, if you guys do want to just, you know, move on, we can auto resolve it and just move on about our day and continue our war against the crooked moon. But we are starting here, stopping here for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode two of our Clan Angrand Old World campaign. I enjoyed making this. I'm really having fun with this one so far. If you are enjoying, please make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that bell button for me. If you ever have a comment, tip, a suggestion, a name idea, anything at all, leave that in the comment section down below for me. I do read all of the comments. I love when you guys, you guys leave them for me. If you ever want to support me further or check out my mod list, look at the links in the description of the video. Consider joining the shield wall. And speaking of the shield wall, I'd like to say a shout out to my tier 2 subscribers, my Huskarls. That's a big skull and thank you to Camelot and Twisted Fate. Thank you guys so much for your support. And as always, I am Yarl Bear, And I will see all of you next time. And thank you so much for watching. Kazakin, Kazakin, ha!